Hey guys, it's Mr. Smine and Mr. Cooper. Uh, today we're going to find the melting point of this substance in this test tube. So to do that, um, we're going to set up the experiment like this. So I'm going to take uh, my stopper that has two holes in it. One has like a little white sleeve in there to hold the thermometer. Um, I can just adjust the height of the thermometer by moving this uh, rubber ring up and down. Um, and that will control how far the thermometer is in the test tube. So I want the uh, tip of the thermometer to be actually in the substance because that's going to be um, what it's measuring the temperature of. And I'm going to put that in my large clamp here and make sure all of my substance is below the water level. Next you'll need a second thermometer. This one is in a small test, oh, sorry, a small rubber stopper also with two holes in the white sleeve, so that it fits in a small clamp, and now that one is actually measuring the temperature of the water. You want to try and adjust that rubber O-ring so the thermometer is not touching the sides or the bottom of the beaker. Next, you're going to need to melt this substance that is currently frozen solid. So you're going to have your goggles on, burner ready, gas is on, light the burner, That's a lot of water to heat up, so you can have sort of a higher flame in the beginning, but you always want to be careful and control the flame and the heat when you're melting substances. Now that it has completely melted our solid, we're going to turn off the gas. And now we are going to take the temperature every 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, I will say time. Mr. Samine will write down the temperature of both the liquid water and the liquid solid, unknown substance. That'll be in 16 seconds. <laughs> Not yet. Get ready. This is the exciting part. Time! And we'll do it again in another 30 seconds. Until, until your solid, or sorry, your unknown substance is completely frozen solid. So one of the things that we can do to uh, move this experiment along a little bit faster is add some scupulas to our water. And what that does is it just gives um, the heat more surface area to dissipate into uh, the room. Um, so this just helps cool it off a little bit faster as we go. <laughs> okay, now your substance is completely frozen, and we are going to clean up, right? Together. <laughs> so to clean up, I can leave um, this thermometer because it's actually frozen in the substance, so I'm going to leave that thermometer in the test tube. Not. Take that out. Pour the water on the sink. Put everything else where it goes. <laughs>